Hey, it's Brickzar. And Mrs. Brickzar. In this video, we're going to do another Pablo picking a Bricklink Lego order. She's going to pick it. And then we're going to add another step, and that is weighing the package and printing the label. It's not going to be an in-depth tutorial on that, but I'm just going to show her how to weigh a package and print the label. And so let's get to it. So this one's going to be an easy one because it's just one lot. Are they all 20? That's right. It's those funny hair pieces. Let's make sure to... That's what I appreciate about you. You make sure you, you get everything. I can't want monk. <laughs> Were there 20? Yes. 20. Okay, great. And so we'll put a business card in there as well. This one here? I'll yeah. put the order number. Oh, yeah, you can put the order number on there. Okay. That was an easy one. <laughs> Very easy. We like those kind of orders. Now, this is one... Um, I'm going to do a tutorial eventually, but I pretty much know what the shipping weight is going to be based on the cart weight because these right here usually weigh about an ounce or less and the, the bigger ones are different weights but so I knew that it was going to be three ounces or less total shipping so I could charge him shipping based on three ounces but I don't know the exact shipping weight it could be one ounce it could be two ounces it could be three ounces so we're going to go and show you what scale or one of the scales we use. I actually have four scales. <laughs> but um, we're going to do that. So we already got it all ready to go. So she's going to go ahead and seal it up there. We've been out riding bicycles. If we look tired or funny. I don't know. I don't even know what I look like. I might have helmet hair. No, I do. <laughs> Alright, now, we'll now we're going to go up to the scale. So here's the scale I use. Why don't you hand me that box right there? It's a uh, Waymax digital postal scale. I uh, have a 35 pound one. It weighs up to 35 pounds. <laughs> and I got another one that weighs up to 50 pounds. And you re rarely ever need that because we're usually dealing in ounces. So we'll turn it on. And this scale has, I, I got it on pounds and ounces, but when they first come, they're set to kilograms. And there's a, there's an option. Okay. over here to change the mode so if it ever says kilograms instead of pounds and ounces you Just change that mode. yeah okay so basically it's ready so see it's way in your hand oh. right? <laughs> and you just put it on there so one ounce now one thing you have to take into account sometimes is the actual label <laughs> can add weight to it so sometimes if it was to say exactly one ounce and you put the label it could actually make it go above the ounce with a label. Right. Okay. So I usually take that into account, but I knew this was already going to be three ounces or less anyway, so we'll be okay with the post office. But Okay, so I take it up? Yep. And then okay. we'll print the label. So to save some time, I, I got these labels, and I'll put a link to the eBay seller that I buy these from. Why? Yeah, they're half a page, mm -hmm. and they're exactly the size that you need for a shipping label. In fact, here's one where I already used one. And with my old 15-year-old printer, <laughs> it still works. Basically, all I do is turn it upside down. You turn it upside down in the printer yeah, and towards that. the front. Okay, yeah. like it's always that. going to print from this end. Okay. Got that in there, and then I'll print the label. And then all we got to do is just slap it on there. Don't even have to use tape. Now, I have done it where we just use regular paper, and then we use... Um, the packing. If you use regular paper, then you got to tape it over with pa packing those. tape. It's an extra step. But this is easy because all you got to do is take the label off and slap it on there. So I'm not going to show it so we don't show the, the guy's address, but that is one more step. You think you can handle um, at least weighing it? Yes. Yeah, I'll, and yeah. this is less noisy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ready to put on there. So thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below, and 
We'll try to answer them as we can. This is Brigzar.